How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. A little bit of, uh, Kanata time. Uh, yeah, Quebec Kanata time in the form of La Castor Brewing. It is their New England style IPA. This comes courtesy of my boy Jacob. Um, he, uh, sent me off a box. Canadian hopeful deliciousness, and uh, we're diving right in. See what's what. Um, never heard of this brewery before, never had anything from these guys before. Um, he sent me off, I believe it was four beers in total. So I'm kind of expecting a lot. So we'll see what Jacob uh, has to bring to the table. Label-wise, I kind of really dig it. You know, it's kind of black and white water. Hops floating around. There's a little beaver in there. What do you want? I dig it. Beer-wise, it definitely looks the part of a New England-style IPA. It's not turkey gravy level stuff, but it's definitely rich, kind of orange juice looking in color. Pinky finger. Um, decently creamy top to it. Super tight compact bubble. She has that look. She has that nice, soft, delicious, juicy, hazy look. Let's see if we can get a nose. It's OJ, man. Straight OJ. And not to the point where, like, it's kind of like, kind of like orange a little bit. And then there's kind of orange juice vibes. It smells exactly what orange juice smells like. Yeah, just rich orange. There's almost like a pithy sweetness to it, like a pulpy sweetness to it. So it's just orange on orange on orange. So you're getting your clementine, tangerine, orange, um, all those red, red, red. Really? What kind of oranges? Orange oranges. So those orange leaning kind of oranges, not your not your grapefruits, not your yellow leaning citrus fruits. It's all that kind of orange, just kind of thrown up in there. That sounds disgusting, but this doesn't smell disgusting. So yeah, OJ, nice sweetness, a little bit of soft, pithy bittering. Done. Let's dive in. Cheers. I mean, that's exactly kind of how it comes off too. This is like carbonated hopped OJ. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Listen, it's beer. I'm not trying to sit here and say it mimics OJ exactly, even though those are, the, those are the words kind of tumbling out of my mouth. It is a New England style hazy IPA that is so orange juice leaning. That's what elicits in your brain. It makes you think those kind of things. So the way those hops kind of come off, leaning super heavily in the OJ realm with that nice, sweet, pulpy OJ, a little bit of pithy bitterness, a little bit of rind in there, but mostly uh, sweet in combination with a soft bittering, green if every, anything else, but well below that um, that sweetness, that more fruited portion show, even though it's still there, so it's not devoid of bitterness, and you have a nice kind of decent sweetness. It's not over the top, but even though that bittering small, that sweetness isn't too heavy, so it kind of just makes itself kind of just sit in that realm where your brain wants to think it's orange juice, but it's not really. 6.3% alcohol by volume, and just... Goddamn tasty beer is what it is. Mm. Yeah, this might be. This is canned almost two months ago. No, let me rephrase that. This was canned two months ago. This is the exactly the tenth of uh, of November, and this was canned in September, August, oh, September, October. Yeah, I can do math. Um, this is absolutely fantastic stuff. This is by far and away probably the best hazy IPA that I've had from up Canada way and I've had some pretty good ones whether that be stuff from Bellwoods or uh, Bronin from um the guys up there uh was it Golden uh, Golden Road um uh, I forget the name of the brewery Jesus so long ago when I reviewed that beer High Road and a couple other ones this is probably one of the better ones I've had and it's probably one of the better kind of just straight to the point, Marion Webster Dictionary, New England style hazy IPAs that I've had is late. So let's cut to the chase because that's what it is. OJ on top of everything. Nice, still beer. And what it is, and at the same time, just a really tasty, damn hazy New England style IPA. Yes, it is one of the better New England style IPAs I've had as of late, period. Regardless of what country. Value availability, no idea. Maybe Jacob can actually chime in. Let us know what's what when it comes to that. And leave you with, if you like what we like this beer. If you like New England haze, you're not afraid of a touch of bitterness. And you just don't want a really well done. New England style IPA, this is going to do you all kinds of proper. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Down there if you want to talk about it. Massive beers if you want to check me out in the social media stuff. Beer Massive if you want to check me out doing a podcasting thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice little uh, La Castor Brewing right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.